stayed down, came on, got me the wall. Money are you making washing window at 16 years old? 8,000 a month. 8,000 a month? Damn! How much do you charge for a typical house? For a one story, around 250. For a two story, around 300 to 350. And then a three story, 400 plus. How long does it take you to typically wash these windows? For a one story, we can get it done in an hour. For a two story, sometimes it takes us an hour and a half, two hours. And then a three story plus takes us around two and a half to three hours. And how many of these do you do on average a week and per day? A week, anywhere from like 10 to 15 houses, and then per day, around two to four houses a day. How much would it cost to start a business like this? Cause you just turned 16 and yep. you got all this stuff. This is gonna be your most expensive thing. It's a 24 foot telescopic pole, 50 bucks. This is probably 25 bucks. Squeegees, which are probably $10 each. Scrubbers are $10 each. Microfibers, $5 for a pack of 10. The window cleaning solution, which is like 10 bucks. What do you think it costs all together and probably 150 150 and yeah. make it over 2000 a week damn so how are you getting customer brought 16 years old so i go door to door knock on people's doors and do that all day how many days do you do that and how many hours do you do that for this week i've gone out three days and i usually go out anywhere from like three to five hours just straight up knocking what advice can you give teen on how to make some side money during the summer just take action and put in the work and you don't even know how to window clean you can search it out once you get the sale but just go out put in the work and i promise you that you'll get results there it is um i don't eat anything all day i only eat one meal a day and the reason that i only eat one meal a day is because your body go through three phases your body go through ingestion then your body go through um, digestion then your body go through cleansing so i only eat once a day and when i'm on tour when i'm touring I try to like refrain from my consumption of animal products because it leaves plaque in the veins and it takes longer for the body to break it down. I guess my lifestyle is fast because I only eat one meal a day. Yeah. But like when I fast, water fast and things like that. Like when I do that that kind of fast, I do like maybe usually like ten days. It usually take like six days before you get rid of the mucus lining, and that's the lining that lines the intestinal tract to keep like diseases and stuff from getting into your body. So when your body don't have no food, what it does is it eats all your bad cells. And, you know, it's, it's just rejuvenation to the body. Your HGH hormones spike, your human growth hormones, they go up. It's just, it's beautiful. Fasting is the cure for everything. I hate to say that like that, but it is. Absolutely not. I saw what Megan said about uh, Tyler paying her the most she's ever been paid. What she I've heard Taraji say, yep. say that. I've heard Tiffany Haddish say is that. A, is, did you can I it? tell you? Yeah. yeah. He paid me the most I've ever made in a film for three weeks. Really? Wow. Ever. And I've worked on films five months, $75 million budgets. Three weeks. That's why I say he's a gift from God. He's an amazing human being. And, from and, God, and, man. And I don't think people realize, and I, maybe I'm wrong because I'm not in Hollywood, but doesn't that set a precedent? Once you get that, that's your I hope so. Your rate moving forward? I, I, I hope so. Yeah. Like like I said, I can just being honest. I hope so. I would love to, you know, double that or keep it pushing there and, 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 and beyond. So, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm on the right track okay. for that. Out of my peripheral, I saw Shayla go, yeah, uh, like, I don't know. Just, it just depends. <laughs> Is that a precedent moving forward? She's like, okay. yeah, we go get okay. that money. Yeah, <laughs> but salute to Tyler because people yes. don't do that, man. And I yeah. love hearing those stories. I love Amazing hearing person. people say that. I mm -hmm. had the Brad Pitt, Eddie Murphy trailer, like the three levels. I, I went wow. in there. It had a bed or a water wow. bed, a jacuzzi. I'm saying you could live in his tra in the trailer that he had for me. That's how I knew. I said, I'm being valued. That's wow. right. That's, that's right. So that's why that's what brought out my best work of being valued. Wow. Well, thank so, you so much. For I love Tyler us. Perry. You can go eat it. Go. You you can eat it. Go. I'm not gonna eat. You can eat it. Go eat it. <laughs> Go eat it. It's just a little snack. <laughs> you can eat it. Go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on. God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for our food. By his hands, we all are fed. Thank you, Lord, for daily bread. Amen. Okay. 
The way we choose to see the world creates the world that we see. You are the universe experiencing itself. This life is about pleasure and meaningful experiences that expands your mind. Not everyone will understand, and that's okay. Keep on moving forward. Don't stop. You are not meant to live like the others. You are meant to live like yourself. Life is to be lived, not to be controlled. Keep that in mind. So stop trying to focus on the people around you. Mind your business, focus on yourself, and remain in the present moment. You have to understand that people can only understand us at the depths in which they have met themselves. So if you live off of their praise, then you will die off of their criticism. Just keep that in mind. Talking about people selling their yeah. souls. I'm oh. talking about all of it. So first, let's talk about me selling my soul. Because I want to make this very clear. I keep saying this, and I want people to know at home how this works. I was offered to sell my soul. So let me explain to everyone at home exactly how this works. You don't become the most Googled man on earth without them trying to control what you say. The reason all these stupid superstars say the same garbage and don't speak out against injustice and don't, didn't speak out against COVID and don't tell the truth about anything and don't have any interesting opinions that could actually save people from slavery is because they've sold their souls. And typically you have to sell your souls to become famous. You sell your soul on the ascent and they won't allow you to become famous unless mm, you, do, you that. do that. Yeah. I broke the matrix. So once I was already famous, they wanted to control what I said. And it's very simple how it works. They come to you with a sponsorship contract for a large company. And that large company will offer you, let's say hypothetically, let's imagine there's a guy called Top G and imagine they will offer him 50 million. And they will say, you will take 50 million, but to make sure the brand is represented well, you're going to wear certain clothes, you're mm -hmm. going to dress a certain way, and you're going to have certain opinions. You're not going to talk about this. You're not going to talk about that. You're not going to talk about this. If you're asked about Israel-Palestine, you're on this team. And if you're asked about transgenders, you're on this team. If you're asked about things, you change your opinion. And you have to have all these opinions to represent the brand under the brand integrity guidelines. And the good thing about this sponsorship contract is... everybody uh, I came on here just to express uh, my actions for the last couple of months and I'm sorry for how long it took for me to make this video uh, I woke up the next morning regretting everything I did and everything I said about Andre and uh, I came on here just to say uh, I'm sorry uh, Andrea you're the mother of my children and somebody that I will always have loved and respect for you 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 grew up me and you see me at my best and now you're seeing me at my worst so, uh, Drea and everybody knows I have a lot going on right now uh, but I finally decided to get some help uh, I lost everything in the ca past couple of weeks my boxing career and just so much other things and I hurt Andrea I hurt you and uh, I hurt our kids I hurt everybody around me for my actions and uh, I'm just I'm sorry because I know our kids are gonna watch these when they get older and uh, and I'm so sorry I mean I lost everything you know I lost I lost the one thing I ever loved and I knew and who knew the, who knew me the most Andrea knows me the most and uh, I'm sorry, Andrea. I feel bad. I retract all my statements about her. She never stole money from me. She never did anything wrong by me. She never cheated on me. We weren't together, so right there, she's not a cheater. She's a great woman. Uh, but, you know, saying that, uh, I finally decided to get some help. I'm going to rehab, and in the next couple of months, uh, you're going to see a change. You're going to see a change. Uh, I gotta handle some things, but after that, yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to check myself into rehab and get better, and uh, hopefully, I can return to boxing and co-parenting with the two of the most important people in my life. You know, Drea, Henry, and Bella. I love you guys so much. Again, Andrea, I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Uh, I love you so much. And. Uh, 
can't wait to see you again. How many kids do you usually have run? I done seen videos online where like it's I turned the crib to the to the projects real quick. When I just rolled down to Atlanta, I rolled down five kids. Mm. They right there with me and they they really keep me grounded, man. Ask anybody to run into me like you won't see me around no group of niggas, no none of that. I'd rather kick it with my little ones. You get yeah. what I'm saying? They still pure. They still, you know, they inspire me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Probably even more than I inspire them. You know, I just love having them kids around on them. The other day, you just said Sunday. Sunday I had, I rolled down with them five. It was two more. It was seven kids running around the crib. Just me. Mm. I'ma change air diaper. Yeah. I'm 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 running air bath. Mm. I'm cooking air meal. You get what no, I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm I'm a fool in the Let me take these off. Wait, look, look, I just started yeah. rapping. I've been cooking since. Yeah, I was, you know what I'm saying? I've been cooking since I was like this. But yeah, nah. I'm a, I'm a cook air meal. I'll let you know. I I really do appreciate them things and and, and cherish them type of things, man. Hey, yo, let me tell you something about keeping your word. You should fucking keep it. You should go over and beyond about keeping your word because sometimes in life, that might be all you have. Your word might mean more than money. It may mean more than who you're associated to, who you know. It may be the key to get you in the door that you're trying to get to. Keep your fucking word. It don't matter if this person is a liar and he don't have no integrity, or she's a fucking liar, and she don't have no principle, you keep your word. I don't care what nobody got going on. I try to keep my word. I try to live by my word. If if I can't live by my word, it's because something is out of my power. It's, it's I can't control something. That's it. Keep your fucking word, period, point blank. It's just that simple. Okay. Yeah. Love. 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 Long way from where I started at, it's a lot to lose and I'm winning, huh? They gon' fib, tell you tall tales, but they all fail when it's finished. Everybody here a witness, everybody in attendance, anybody get the business. All oh, hell, I get out of line like scrimmage. Never hang with broke bitches, I can't afford it. I started from the ground, things looking up, baby, see I'm really doing it. Surprise coming in the mail, he don't want ruin, he don't want spoil it. Time for it and it's gorgeous, just another day on bullshit. I'm a cool bitch, I don't force it. Cause what's in the car is gon' happen regardless, shit is gon' happen indeed. Which just being me, somehow in the process, learn how to master the lead. Mike Jack, it don't matter to me. Small circle, bitches, casualties. Make him get it, I ain't asking to please, yeah. No, I'm that bitch when you met her, I always had it together. Don't know nobody who better, down for whatever. By the Fetty the Fetter, he loving every endeavor in time that we set up. Right on his schedule, it's something deep about this, we gon' find out together. Maybe go a cappella. I know that I can't afford to stop. Look at how far I done took it. When shit wasn't working out, that was when God helped me dodge a bullet. Rap sweet like candy, yeah, rap sweet like tulips. You did it once, you gon' do it twice. Do it really look like I'm foolish? Fall off like full clips, care less, give two shits Been her, I was a cool kid, and I got it on like cool kick Shit, if I ain't do it, tell me who did I'm on their heads like a pool stick, now they all on me, call me too lit Luda how I make a move, bitch, yeah Veganism is a beautiful thing. Right now, I'm so. like one of the most superb vegans because I feel like people would be vegan, but the food that they eating is still not healthy. You can be vegan and still eat unhealthy, but I feel like I feel like it's more so like to open your mind to it. So it's cool to start out with Beyond Burgers or Impossible Burgers. Okay, that's cool. But once you find out this damn near worse than or just as bad as meat, it's like, okay, now how do I elevate this? Then you probably go to an alkaline diet, a cooked alkaline diet. Okay, you realizing things are more on the positive side. You realize food isn't that heavy. And once you get tired of that, what's next? So right now, I'm on a stage of a raw alkaline diet. So I've only been eating um, vegetables and fruits. But like, if I eat vegetables, I make meals out of them, but it's not cooked. So what it does is, the raw alkaline diet is, it keeps the enzymes on the food. But um, the food that I'm eating now has produces its own enzymes. But once you cook the food, you take away the enzymes. So what that mean is, if I cook the food and I consume it, my body has to produce enzymes to break it down. Sure. Which makes you tired, which makes you age faster which can take away from your immune system so instead of doing that i eat a raw alkaline diet that already has the enzymes so it breaks down itself and i ain't got to produce none for my body and my body can use it for other things you want to book this motherfucker expect it to hit the charts let me take these off i've been cooking since i was like this i gotta keep it funky though there's so many different babies in the music industry you yep. got Birdman, who is also known as baby another one baby keem and then mm -hmm. you got Lil baby like right when i switched the name that's when Lil baby popped out i was passing out cds i'm out there with a goddamn cam newton jersey on all i gotta do is do, they know exactly they, they doing it for me <laughs> goddamn i always f with charlotte because charlotte f with me where do you draw inspiration from 
kids. I turn the crib to the to the projects real quick. I'ma change air diaper. I'm running air bath. I'm cooking air meal. You get what no, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I make the best music when I got all my kids in one spot. The situation, obviously, with your brother. Even if you a motherfucker grew up in the same exact household as somebody, you never know what somebody going through. You know, my brother committed suicide. I was the top streaming artist in the world. I'm just blessed enough to still be in a position where I can speak on it from this standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I speak, I ain't speaking on it from no damn jail phone. Being an alpha, ain't nothing wrong with the word cute, man. I just won a trial last year. A nigga was suing me. Tried to sue me for $6 billion. Why baby Jesus? Where the hell that come from? A motherfucker hear that and think this nigga comparing himself to God. What you saying is you judge a female not only with the group, male group that they associated with, but also the female group. I can't teach now one of them how to be no woman. Finish this phrase. Birds of a feather flock the motherfucking together. You always gotta be delusional. I think I think part of greatness is, is delusional. To think about the things you wanna be able to accomplish, the things that you wanna be able to do to overcome, come come from Richmond, Virginia where you know, you know, s small towns, you know, in terms of small school and everything else to go play football, baseball. You got to be delusional to go win a Super Bowl. Got to be delusional. All the hard work, the competitiveness to do what you're do doing. You know, I think you got 970 some catches in your career. You got to be a little delusional. You got to be obsessed. You got to love the process. You got to love the game. You got to love the, the studying. You got to love the hard stuff. You got to love the bumps and the bruises. You got to love the hard times just as much as the good times. What's up, my fluffers? It's my birthday. Woke up bright and early to get this party started. Got so excited about my big day, I did some zoomies. Saw a squirrel. Got lots of prezzies. Ooh, cute. Oh my god, a mega carrot. Then I did a photo shoot. Took a little nappy. Went on a jeep ride. Let the wind blow through my floof. Made a pit stop at Starbucks. Chowed down on a pup cup in record time. Next stop, in and out Devoured a putt patty. Took another nap ski. Enjoyed a nice dip in the pool. Nibbled on a delicious watermelon poppy. Had a nice little dance party. Then I took another naparoni. Best day ever! Every day, do these 12 exercises. Push-ups. Prone cobras, strengthening your back and spine. Make sure you got your heels together. You gotta do your burpees, practicing coming up and down. You gotta do your pike push-ups. This way you can strengthen your shoulders and your upper back. You gotta get in your squats. You can jump up or just regular up and down. Make sure you strengthen your legs individually as well, which is why we do lunges. And then you want to come down, you want to do leg raises because you want to strengthen your abs, strengthen your core. And then you want to get up on your feet and you want to run. You got to make sure you're able to do running, strengthen your feet. You want to be able to kick. Also opens up your hips as well. For all you guys that have tight hips, kicking is great. Strikes. Not just because you want to punch something, but because it's a basic function of reaching. And then, of course, you got to jump. If you can't jump high, jump low and practice until you can go higher. And last, get in your plank so you strengthen up those abs and core muscles. Do them every day. The purpose from, from birth is creation. That's all humans do. Everything around you was created. You were created. That table over there created. This chair created. This mic created. That camera created. That hat created. The whole point is evolution and creation. If you're not evolving, you're doing something wrong. So anything that takes away the power of your mind is keeping you still and delaying your evolution. Study your laws of the universe. The law of attraction, the law of abundance, the law of equivalent exchange. 
Study your laws, the laws of cause and effect, the karmic cycle. Dwell into your mind, meditate. Understand that you can alter your realms by your train of thought. You're only, you're only enslaved if you can't control your mind. So while you can and while you don't have the whole world against you, or you don't have a lot of worries, worry on freeing your mind from this realm. When you can free your mind from this realm, everything is but a thought. And if you can't free your mind, then you're a slave to this realm. The whole goal is you live and then you die. You can die plenty of times while you're alive. The ideal physical death is completion. You served your purpose and then you went. There really is no rest for the wicked at all. I'm gonna teach everybody else to do it, to free their minds and their souls. Or I'm gonna at least, if this is what you wanna dwell in, which I don't wanna dwell in, I'm gonna teach you how to at least be happy or create while you're here. But for those of you that seek out power, follow me.